Have you ever tried to convert your cat from dried food or canned food to a raw food diet? I've had a lifetime of fussy eating cats and I know it is not an easy thing to do. Hi everyone, I'm Romy Bueller, the Holistic Animal Health Coach, and I want to share with you today how I have converted my particularly fussy cat to a raw food diet. It's no secret that cats are really challenging to change from one eating style to another. Domesticated cats are fussy, there is no doubt about that for the most part. And it makes sense when you think about it because they're imprint eaters and what that means is whatever their mother gave them as a kitten, that's what they know. And if we're their mother or father and we're feeding them biscuits or canned food as a kitten, that's what they know. And we've got to re-imprint, if you like, their new way of eating. So it takes a little bit of time. We need a whole lot of patience and we need to be persistent. And I've tried for a long time to convert my cat because I've had three cats die of kidney disease and I know that has been from dried food and this will not happen again on my watch. Nutrition is so important for the longevity, the health, the happiness of your cats. And so I was on a mission. I was going to pull out all my patient stops, all of my persistence, and I was going to ignore those pleading death stare eyes that say, what is this? I'm not eating that. And the silent meow that goes and goes and it's like, get rid of that food. Give, bring back this stuff that I know and I like. I was going to ignore all of that. And it didn't really take me long. So this is how I did it. I had two plates. I had a little bit of raw, not too much because I knew the dog was going to get that. A little bit of raw food and a little bit of her regular food. Now the raw is 80% meat protein, which for me is chicken, 10% bone and 10% organ. So that's all blended up into a mince and this here. So she gets to smell it. She walks around the plate, smells it, eats her regular food. So we do that for three days. And then I put both of those foods on one plate, but I had a space between them. So they weren't touching, but the juices of the raw food were sort of flowing into her regular food. So she's sniffing this and eating that. Sniff, eat for about two or three days and then after a couple of days, she licked this one and it's like, oh, I was excited. I was beyond excited, actually, because I want my cat around for 30 years, not 12. So I put the, I put the foods together now. They're on one plate and they're now touching. And so she eats a regular food. She walks off. It's raw food, so you can't have it sitting out for too long. It's kind of in and out of the fridge a little bit. But they also like at room temperature or body temperature. So I left it out long enough that it was sort of a body temperature. And eventually she came back and she licked this one and she nibbled it a little bit of it. Oh, this was another win. I had two green ticks just in a couple of days. The following day, she ate it all. She ate this one, walked away, came back and ate that one. And I just, she meowed, she death stared me. She did all of those things, the manipulating little things that she does because I would ordinarily go, okay, I know you don't like it and you're hungry because you haven't eaten for whatever long. And I would give her whatever I regularly fed her, but not this time. And I really stuck with it. And so now I can put a plate down of some raw food and she will eat that standalone. And that's what I want. I don't want cans. She's never had biscuits, but she has had canned food and I don't want that. And I don't want her just to have chicken mince or chicken wings because it, she needs more nutrition from the organs and, and things like that. So I'm very excited about that. Be patient, be persistent, a happy, healthy cat. I don't want to go to the vet. She doesn't want to go to the vet. And I want her to live for a long time. Thanks for watching everyone. If you have questions about this process, please ask. If any of you have converted your cats over and you've got some great tips, please share because it's a question I get asked all the time. How do I do it? I can't do it. It's too hard. She's refusing. He's refusing. They're not going to do it. There is a way. There is a way. Just be patient. So if you've got tips, please share right in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Romy Bueller talking to animals because they can't always help themselves.